There are shows on television that talk about how the Beatles changed music, how Star Trek changed our society, and how the great athletes have changed the way a sport is played. Today we truly honor a man that not many know personally, but truly changed the course of music education in our community, not only in the Catholic schools, but in the public schools as well. Mr. Bim has a long line of firsts to his credit in his illustrious 42-year career at Marion Catholic High School. And tonight we will hear many of these firsts, and when we speak of Mr. Bim, it is always synonymous with Marion Catholic, so bear with me if I weave back and forth the names. I first met Mr. Bim 39 years ago today at State of the Art. He was performing the GNA Symphony with the Symphonic Band that day, and I was in awe of the technical and musical artistry that such young student musicians were capable of. I stood in the doorway of Driscoll Catholic Gym, and when he walked by, I extended my hand in congratulations. I knew that this man was going to be something special for music education, and I wanted to be close to him as long as I could. That year, 1980, Marion Catholic was the first band to win State of the Art Catholic Band Competition. Uh, Greg pushed the envelope of band literature, and directors were constantly on the hunt for new materials to perform with their bands in order to keep up. Greg forged the way for many bands to have the opportunity to explore all of those works. Under his direction, the band has grown from 55 members in 1977 to over 280 members. Mr. Bim was the first director to achieve these great feats of recruiting without the staff that some schools have today. From 1977 to 1986, he did it mostly on his own without an assistant director. And this is why the Marian Catholic Band Program has become one of the premier high school bands in the United States. The Marian Catholic Band was the first lab band to be invited to the 1981 Summer Marching Bands of America Festival where Mr. Bim explained to over 300 band directors how his use of the upper class in the band for music sectionals and marching squadnals helped him in moving the band forward to the forefront of excellence that every band would want to achieve from then on. Mr. Bim then forged on for another first with five consecutive summer national titles in 1984, 85, 86, 87, and 88. In the 1980s, the Marian Catholic Band was the first band to win three grand championships consecutively at Bands of America in 1987, 1988, and 1989, and that is a record that stood for over 20 years and still holds the record for seven grand national titles overall. As the band began to grow, they began their impressive list of over 1,000 awards to date, including in the list, included in the list of honors are 39 consecutive State of Illinois Marching Class Championships for their class, 18 overall state championships. From 1977 to 1988, the band received consecutive superior ratings at the IHSA Concert Band Festivals, and several of those years received perfect scores from three judges. The concert bands have performed at numerous major state and national conventions, and have remained undefeated in the state-of-the-art Catholic High School Concert Band Competition for 39 years. They have won 10 University of Illinois Super State competitions and 10 Illinois State Concert Band Festivals. The Marion Band was the first to win the National Catholic Band Directors Association Outstanding Catholic Band for four years in a row. They have made three appearances at the National Music for All National Concert Band Festival. The Marion Marching and Concert Band's educational and competitive philosophy have been used as models for band programs in nearly every state in the Union. In 1985, the band was invited to do a double performance at the National Band Association Convention in Tennessee, a field show followed by a formal symphonic band concert. The performance was early in June and only left 17 days to prepare for summer nationals. So new arrangements had to be written, a couple of older ones were used to complete the show. The kids were amazing and ended up winning the 1986 Summer Nationals with a show that was essentially 17 days old, hence the legend of the 17-day miracle was given to this event. The Marion Band has appeared in the Macy's Parade, President George W. Bush's inaugural parade, the Rose Bowl Parade, 
is one of the first programs in the country to have been awarded both the Southern Flag and the Concert Band Excellence and Southern Shield for marching band by the John Philip Sousa Foundation. The Marian Catholic Band was the first band to be included in the documentary educational film about the history of bands in America. Mr. Bim was the first band director ever to be named in a TV show, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> a, former, a former oboist and color guard member who is currently the creator and executive producer wrote a scene where a patient comes into the ER. This patient was a band member and has collapsed because of heat exhaustion in the brain. <laughs> Two drum majors were assigned to take the band member to the ER and stay with her. The doctors told the drum majors that they could leave, but they said no. Mr. Bim told us to stay with her. <laughs> when the patient was feeling better, she asked if they had won the parade, and the drum majors said, no, we lost. The band is so well known across the United States. When I was touring, teaching drum corps international, people would ask, where do you teach? And I go, did you ever hear Mary Catholic? And they go, yeah. I teach in the next town over. <laughs> that was the best icebreaker ever. Mr. Bim is the first student at LaSalle Peru High School to have a Volkswagen Beetle, which he immediately painted black and yellow to look like a bumblebee. That's from Chris Eisen. The Marion Band and Band Parents were among the first schools to be used by a major corporation for a fundraiser. Sears was having a promotional mailing of cutlery and turned to the Marian Catholic Band to stuff envelopes with cutlery. Hence, Fort Fest, as it is called today, lasted over 17, 72 hours of continuous shifts of parents and students and raised thousands of dollars for the band program. Mr. Bibb has received numerous, numerous National Band Association citations of excellence, was named the 1983 national winner of the ASBDA Standard Award for Young Directors, and received the Subtler Order of Merit from the John Philip Sousa Foundation in 1991 and 1997. In 1995, Mr. Bill was the first high school band director to be invited to conduct the Illinois All-State Band. In 1999, he was the first to be awarded the Mary Hoffman Award of Excellence by the Illinois Music Educators Association, and in 2000, was recognized for his contribution to and support of arts education by the Illinois Alliance for Arts Education. In 2005, Mr. Bim was elected to the Music for All Bands of America Hall of Fame, and in 2006 was named a Lowell Mason Fellow by the National Association for Music Education. In 2010, Mr. Bim was given the Distinguished Service Award by the Arts Diocese of Chicago, and was the first member inducted into the Illinois State University College of Fine Arts Hall of Fame. In 2012, Mr. Bim was awarded an honorary doctorate in music education by the Vanderbilt College of Music. In 2013, Mr. Bim was the first active band director to be awarded the Chicagoland Music Educator John Painter Lifetime Achievement Award, and in 2018, he was the first alumnus to be inducted into the inaugural class of the Distinguished Alumni at LaSalle Peru Township High School, where he attended high school. Mr. Bim was elected to the membership of the prestigious American Bandmasters Association in 1994. He holds degrees from Illinois State and Western Illinois University. His professional affiliations include ABA, ASPDA, IMEA, MENC, NCBA, NBA, Phi Beta Mu, and Phi Mu Alpha. He is a current member and past chairman of the Bands of America Advisory Board. He served on the Illinois High School Association Music Advisory Committee and has served as Band Division Chair, District 1, and State Equipment Manager for IMEA. In 2018, Bands of America named the finalist meeting room after Mr. Bim for his long string of appearances with the Marian Catholic Band at Grand Nationals. A record 35 appearances and 34 final performances. In regional festivals for BOA, over his 42 career, Marian Bands have performed in over 40 in over 40 festivals, and we're either finalists or grand champions at every single one of those festivals. In constant demand, Mr. Bim has performed as conductor, clinician, adjudicator, drill writer, and music arranger throughout the United States and Canada. Many of the directors that have won summer nationals or grand nationals have gone on to teach at the college or university level. When asked why, Greg, why haven't you ever gone on to teach college? He says, I feel like I make more of a difference at the high school level. Scores of directors have sat in at the Marian Catholic rehearsals to watch how they do it. Greg is always willing to share his knowledge with directors young and old. The model of the band schedule that they use at Marian is in use in many high schools today. 
Greg Bim has managed to balance family and career with the artistry of a seasoned performer. When his daughter Jessica was born, his wife Connie was delivering the baby and the obstetrician was a man curve. Between the contractions, the doctor said, great, so how's the man doing? Yeah. <laughs> Greg looked over his wife Connie and said, fine. I think that's the first one word answer Greg has ever given. <laughs> Greg's wife Connie is as much a part of that equation and probably more so for no one could have helped balance such a wonderful career more than his wife. One day I was at the band room and I was, I happened to be Valentine's Day and I was waiting in Greg's office. I was trying to pick up some music. And one of the students said that Mr. Bim was in the art room. I walked over to the art room to find Connie and Greg celebrating Valentine's Day with a dinner in the art room. That's love. Greg is a proud father of two wonderful children, Jessica and Jeff, a proud grandfather of Mia, Dylan, Charlie, and Lucas. Through all of those accolades, Greg Bibb will be the first to say, it's not about the award, it's about the performance. Pride, personal responsibility, and daily effort. This is painted on the wall of the old band room area. This is the signature of the band, and no one lives this more than Greg Bibb. Greg will say that he's just that guy that shows up, but many would disagree. He genuinely cares so much about the students he teaches. The truth of the matter is, Greg leads students and motivates them to want to succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the Mary Catholic Band, I'm proud to present the first ever Lifetime Achievement Award to a person I consider a colleague and a friend, Mr. Greg Bill. And that's what we do, that's what directors do. We just keep learning. It's a constant state of watching what works and what doesn't work. Watching what's better. Watching a new way to say something, to think about something. Watching everybody and everything. And that's what we do. Festivals like this have been a, a, a wonderful ground for me to just come in and, and walk around and say, okay, what are you saying? That was, oh, that's good, I'm, I'm gonna use that. We all do that. Or listen to another piece and go, oh man, I didn't know that one was there. And so we have been able to stand, all of us directors, we stand on the shoulders of the people who have gone before us. And with us, actually, I guess you could say. For me personally, the bigger part though is um, all of that stuff. all of the award stuff. First of all, it, it's, that's not the important thing. The important thing is all the music we've been able to make. All of the sharing we've been able to do.
<clears throat> this is just a wonderful, wonderful profession. I have to sidetrack for a second. I'm looking at it, seeing two graduates of uh, Marion. A 1980, 1980 graduate, Tony, right? I know he's Tony, I was just asking about the graduation. And Pete, an 81 grad, stand up. And now, don't look at the color of their shirts. <laughs> they're now, they're now being parents of problems. Thank you all. Thank you. 